Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Joke Mod. It's the morning of day 10 and we are here at Trader Jen's place. Get the hell out of here, Patty. I brought the golden boy with me today and I think I had it completely wrong in the last episode when I first picked up this rifle and noticed that it fired coin. I thought it was a little weird, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized it's pretty insane. I mean, for one, look how much ammo I have. 7,459 rounds, plus almost a full magazine. I mean, we can carry 20,000 rounds in a stack, basically, which is nuts. So that's one thing. And two, look at the damage. 59.5 range damage per hit. First, let me uh, see if we got some sugar butts. We do not have sugar butts. All right, uh... What's up, Jen? I am so glad to see your face. Of, I get of course you are. By Look at my okay. face. How could you not be glad to see it? Uh, hold on. Here we are. AP 9mm rounds. 38 range damage for 35 rounds of coin. That's crazy. When each round of coin does almost 60 range damage. I'm gonna buy the Molotovs and the contact grenades, even though that costs me ammo. But that's fine, because I still like throwables. But even 7.62, 47 range damage, going to cost me 28 rounds of coin, which do 59 and a half range damage. So, bottom line is this gun is pretty fucking sweet. In theory, anyway. That's why I'm taking it with me today, so we can try it out in the field. And by field, I mean the wasteland, because that's where we are headed. Look how much ammo I have for it. That's crazy. No, All right, we picked up a, a few deal. things for completing the previous challenge. We got the forge schematic I saw. And what's this? Buck, buck, mother clucker. There are some giant feathery bastards pecking up the place. Go turn them into chicken nuggets. Kill some giant murder chickens. Warning, entity entities will spawn at your current position. Well. Hey, Jen, you mind if I invite some giant cock friends over? No? All right. Thank you. Fuck it, we'll do it right here. <laughs> Who cares? Oh, they're outside. Got one. Well, that was easy. There's more, though. Give me that giant cock. Oh, there we go. Two down. Three down. That was super easy. Give me a break. Thought that was supposed to be dangerous. Hey, buddy, don't even think about eating my giant cock. Mine. Get out of here. Oh, there's another one. Let's take it out. Don't do it, buddy. It's my cock. Are we good? No, we are not. There is another one. Hey, fuck off, buddy. Oh, there's a green loot bag out here. Oh, shit. We just got a giant murder chicken chassis. Move over, Croc 9. Make room for Cock 9. Oh, it's a button. Jen's mystery button. Go on, scoop. We're closed. What the fuck did that do? You are not allowed in any trader outposts. Well, we're in one now. Well, I can't do business with Jen now, even though my business is already done. We've got don't spend it all in one place. Well, look, I just but got rewarded. Here. Make sure it's here. That's weird. Anyway, don't worry, Jen. I'm gonna clear all these zombies out for you. What was that? Oh, you thought I said. Friends with giant cocks? No, I meant actual giant cocks, like, like giant chickens. Don't worry, I killed them all. So now the next thing I have to do is craft a stinky bat. What the hell is a stinky bat? That's locked. We can buy the schematic from a ticket machine, but it costs 80 tickets. We only have 40. I left the rest of my tickets at home. So we'll have to do that another day. Chassis needed to build the buck buck mount. 
Oh, giant cock incoming. Let's search this crazy looking SUV. Mac 10, schematic. Fruit salad, schematic. Sledgehammer, basically 414 rounds. That's another thing about this gun. Literally anything you loot that you can sell is basically like finding ammo. Back up, boner. Is that a little tiny demolisher? Oh, we gotta set him off. Is he gonna do a little tiny explosion? Or is it gonna be giant? Because it's the joke mod, so little tiny demolisher, big giant explosion. Oh shit! Oh no, it was a little one. He didn't even make a hole in the ground. And here is Gravestown. What is this? An arcade? Oh, this is the place, baby. We gotta check this out. What? Uh, guns permitted on premises. Great, because I brought one. Wake up, everybody! Let's play a different kind of game. It's called I Shoot You All. Holy shit, that's quite a lot of them. Let's uh, run them around the building. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Good thing I got a lot of ammo. More of them! Dude, this gun is tits! I need to make a drum mag. Right now I have an extended magazine on it, but... A drum magazine would be beautiful. Dude, this is great! Oh shit! Uh, can I get up there? No, I cannot. Oh, there's a bear in the arcade. That's fun. I could pull up onto the rooftop. I do have frames on me, but running around the building like this seems to be working out. Just gotta watch our back every now and again. Make sure they're not gonna creep up from behind us. Where's everyone at? Get out of here, biker. Oh, here we go. We got some more. Fucking arcade was loaded with zombies. Holy shit. Wonder if we'll be able to get uh, arcade tickets out of the arcade machines. Maybe we can get the uh, stinky bat schematic today. Stop at Jen's on the way back, unless there's a ticket redemption machine in the arcade. Candies, we'll sell them. Dude, we fucked these zombies up. There's another one of those nukes across the street. I'm gonna move Croc 9 a little bit further away. Screamer! And we're gonna take a shot at that nuke and see if it does anything. Oh, yeah, it did something that time. Holy shit. Look at that. Good thing we moved Croc 9 out of the way. Back up, Muff. All right, I think we can go in the arcade now. Holy shit. Flaming rage cock. Wasn't so bad. Stupid clown. So what can we do here? Oh. We can search some of them. There was some money in that one. Money. Money and some arcade tickets. There we go. More arcade tickets. More money. What about the ones we can't search? Can we take those apart? I will try that in a second. Let me just search all the ones that... We can first. Oh, well, we need 80 tickets for that stinky bat. 
And there is a ticket redemption machine in here. Let me just grab the uh, rest of my tickets out of Croc 9 here, see how many we have total. 79, son of a bitch. We are one short. Well, I can't take him apart. Molotov. More Molotovs. Oh, there are more machines back here. Boots. 57 rounds of ammo. <laughs> Nothing behind the cock. Let's pop this safe open. Money and crossbow bolts. Nothing there. And we can't search any of those machines. There we go. That's all we need. Hey, will you leave me alone? Fuck off, dude. There it is. Stinky bat schematic. We just read it. Now we'll be able to craft it tonight. Oh, this was a great find, the arcade. Let's continue on into Gravestown for a bit, but first, there is a work truck over here I want to search. Well, I don't need the uh, arcade tickets now, and that's quite a lot of ammo, so I'm just going to hold on to these schematics, and we'll sell them. This place looks interesting. There's some newsstands over here, and uh, I saw some ambulances in the back. And a fire truck. All right, cool. This place will do. Now, for anyone who hasn't heard, the 1.0 streamer weekend is this weekend. So I will actually get my hands on 1.0 this Friday. So this will be the last week of Joke Mod until it gets updated for 1.0. And then maybe we'll play it again in the future because it is pretty fun. I got to admit, one of my favorite mods so far. Unless that's a scorpion, of course, then fuck this mod. It is. Son of a bitch. Not a big fan of scorpions. Uh, but anyway, what this means for everyone else is if you're playing on PC, you will have access to 1.0 on Monday. If you are playing on console and you're waiting for the uh, release of the new version of Seven Days to Die 1.0, that is going to come mid-July, so you still got about a month to wait if you're on console. But hey, you've waited this long, right? What's another month? Another thing I wanted to mention is the Fun Pimps do plan on releasing additional updates for 1.0 after it launches. So it is not the complete and final version of the game. In Q4 of this year... We're looking at a update called Storms Brewing, which is going to bring a weather system changes, biome progression overhaul, a wardrobe system, crossplay, random gen for consoles. So a whole bunch of shit coming uh, at the end of this year. And then even more updates coming in 2025 that will include bandits, an event system, not exactly sure what that is yet. New quest types, a trader overhaul, a story mode, which sounds really interesting. This little son of a bitch. Oh shit! He can open doors? Well, we can't play open slam shut with him, can we? Fuck off! Welcome to Hotel Glock. There are no vacancies, unfortunately. What I can offer you fine folks is a trip to the moon, bitches! Murky water, I guess this is the way to go. Oh shit. Well, thanks for showing me the way, buddy. I was a little confused at first. Oh, where'd you come from, you little shit? Uh, not much stamina. Let's see, can he really open the door? Yes, he can! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, 
I'm gonna take my chance with this chili. I'm gonna scrap these, screw it. And we can drink the murky water, because we have that helmet mod. And stupid air guitar, get out of here. So going back to the game briefly, I guess my point was, whether you're playing on console or PC, you can expect additional content and updates for the game throughout the rest of this year, as well as throughout 2025. Well, let's go back out. Here he is. Now, after 2025, I have no idea what their plans are, what their goals are, what their intentions are. I do remember, though, one of them saying or teasing a possible sequel to Seven Days to Die after that. Who knows what that is going to look like. It's super far off from now, so not really worried about it. I just want, you know, everybody to uh, be able to get their hands on and play the most updated version of this game and then, of course, see it through completion, play through the story mode at the end of 2025 when that gets released. And uh, at that point, we'll just see where it goes from there. Is that... Holy shit, it is! It's a hippopotamus! A hippopotamus! A hippopotamus! I gotta go kill it! Holy shit! Ah, uh, no green bag! I was hoping to maybe get a chassis out of that thing. Machine gunner book! Ragdoll, that gives you a chance to ragdoll enemies with fully automatic fire, which I'm sure includes the Golden Boy. And Golden Boy is uh, on his last legs here, but that's okay, because I brought a repair kit. I figured with as much ammo as we were going to have for that thing that we might have to end up repairing it. And since that's the only firearm I brought with me today... Bringing a repair kit was pretty necessary. Uh, we have cloth on us, so I'll scrap that. I guess we're climbing up here. It's a pretty cool building. I don't remember ever being in here before. Not very difficult building. I mean, it's only a two-skull POI. Four skulls since we're in the wasteland. But even still. Not that crazy. Here's the stash. Not a very big stash because it's only a tier two POI. But I'll take it. Is another machine gunner book. Automatic weapons do 10% more damage. Let's get up on the rooftop and have a look. And nothing up here. There's waterworks. I know how we can snatch the main loot out of there pretty easily. There's an ice cream truck, and there's a giant screamer. Damn, 2,000 XP for her. Is the giant skeleton 2,000 XP also? No, only 800. I want to lockpick this police car, but fucking zombies don't stop around here. Oh, green bag out of the clown. What, what, uh, what kind of vehicle part do we get from that? In my experience, green bags drop some sort of chassis every time. 
This is insane. Fuck off. Holy shit. Balloons are getting radiated. Well, so much for that cop car. Way too many zombies around. There we go. Oh, chicken. Uh, let's, uh... What the hell, dude? It is wild around here. Um... We should probably replace that bow now. Just so we can get the level one out of our inventory. Let's do that. Whoops. There we go. That's what I wanted. Clown car accessories. Oh, the, the balloons are used to craft the clown car. Now we just need the clown car chassis. Let's go pull the main stash out of Waterworks. This locked hatch only has a thousand hit points, so we can rip right through this. Is there something else preventing us from getting from the stash down there, though? There might be a steel door. Let's go check. Yes, there is. 15,000? Well, we can chew through the concrete blocks. That won't take too long. I don't have any explosives that will help us out. Eh, fuck it. We'll just beat through these blocks. Hey, wake up! Come help me! Yeah, come help me beat this block. Appreciate it. Oh, son of a bitch. This is not the safest place to be here. There we go. See, the, the exploding clown actually does do some damage if you're close by him when he goes off. Come on, biker. Help me out here. Alright, that's enough. Ah, uh, there's a bellows. Haven't crafted one of those yet, and some forged gore. Vehicle expanded seating mod schematic, level 2 battle axe. Well, this was a nice little raid. Rifle tube extender mod, I bet you that works with the Winchester rifle. And finally, a rad remover mod schematic. We'll have to craft a couple of those now that we're getting radiated zombies. Alright, let's go uh, give that police car one more try before we get out of here. Oh, shit. Ow. Oh, damn. Fucking bears. Oh, come on. Hurry! Alright, we got this. No oh, shit! This is not good. I really don't want to get killed. I'm just trying to break into a cop car here. Oh, fuck. It's too crazy around here. Oh, he's gonna blow the cop car up, isn't he? No, he didn't. Alright. We can do this. Oh, shit. That clown almost killed me. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Fuck you. Got it. 
Going home. Ooh, the sci-fi car glows green at night. And there's my snail. I went ahead and crafted a snail. I figured, what the hell, we got the chassis, might as well. It's not as slow as you'd think it would be. It's actually pretty fast for a snail. Not as fast as Croc 9, though. But still, this is a pretty good vehicle for early game, because snails are everywhere. They're easy to kill. You could definitely craft one early on. And it has one heck of a storage compartment. So, early game, snail is the way to go. All right, well, first thing we got to do is craft cock nine. What do we need again? Meat, bones, and animal fat. There we go, that's gonna be fun. All right, let me organize the rest of this shit and we'll pick things up here on the morning of day 11. I would say we should go work on the base, but we're really only gonna be able to fight one more horde here since this is gonna be the last week before 1.0 launches. So I think what we'll do is in the next episode, we'll go exploring with Cock9, maybe down in the desert biome, in the desert city, or maybe up in Perishton, we'll see. And then, instead of fighting the Night 14 Horde, maybe we'll do a flash forward and see what an endgame horde looks like here in Joke Mod. So we can try that out before, like I said, we have to call it quits. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Joke Mod, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.